Hey guys, it is Christian here, and today I am going to do a triple movie review. But before we get into this, please like and subscribe and tell me what do you think of all three of these movies. So I'm going to be reviewing Cruella, Quiet Place 2, and The Conjuring 3, The Devil Made Me Do It. So let's start off with Cruella. So Cruella is directed by Craig Gillespie and stars Emma Stone and Emma Thompson. Um, so this remake from the trailers looked good, not great, it just looked good from the trailers. But then the reviews came out and people started calling it the best Disney remake and calling it amazing and everything like that. What did I think of it? Unpopular opinion alert. Ow, bow, bow. It's not great. I have to say, it's not great. Um, it's pretty mediocre. I mean, it's just an average Disney remake. It, but do I have positives? Yeah, I do have positives. Emma Stone's performance is phenomenal, obviously. Emma Thompson's really good. Her character kind of reminded me of Meryl Streep from Devil Wears Prada. The costumes are amazing, obviously. The production design is pretty good. The music is good. But yeah, this movie has a lot of cons. Oh no, also, some of the acting is also pretty good from Paul Walter Hauser, Joel Fry, Joel Fry who, play, who play Horace and Jasper. Anita is race swapped, but the actress playing Anita wasn't terrible either. But let's get to the cons. The script is mess, is such a mess. Um. And the script, like, almost made no sense to me. It, like, it took, it retcons a lot of stuff. If I don't want to ret say why, because it's spoiler-free. No spoilers for this. It's, but it has a really messy script. Um, it has pretty forgettable characters, especially Mark Shawn's character. I don't even remember his name. In the film. It's basically like Joker. I mean, no, it's not really like Joker. It's basically like... It's kind of like Devil Wears Prada mixed with Joker mixed with Birds of Prey. It's not really an original story. It, well, obviously, it's a remake. And also, this movie's like way too long. It's like, t it's like two hours and like 17 minutes. And there's three different like scenes where they're doing heists and galas and stuff. Some of the scenes are in the trailer, so it's not really a spoiler. So, yeah. But, yeah, it got really repetitive, my opinion. It got pretty p repetitive. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um, and also, this movie's not really entertaining either. It drags. It's pretty... It drags quite a bit. I found some of the other, I found, like, even the Aladdin remake and the Lion King remake and the Beat and the Beast remake more entertaining. And so, yeah, so, yeah, Cruella is a pretty overrated film. Oh, it's a pretty mediocre, average remake. I even like some of the other remakes, like Beat and the Beast and the Lion King, a little better because they entertain me more. Or people call this the best Disney remake. I don't agree. I'm going to give Corella a 5 out of 10 average movie. So now on a more positive note, let's talk about Quiet Place 2. A Quiet Place 2 is directed by John Krasinski and stars Emily Blunt. Um and stars Emily Blunt and Killian Murphy among others. So yeah, this movie I was I was anticipating this movie. I was definitely anticipating this movie since last year. Yeah, but we had to wait a while because it kept getting delayed and everything. Was it worth the hype? I think it was. Like I think it was worth the hype. It's definitely my favorite movie I've seen this year so far. I'm not I'm not sure if it's gonna last because In the Heights has like really good potential to become my favorite of the year. But this movie is pretty good too. It's really great, actually. Yeah, I would say it's just as good as the first film. 
And in some elements, it's even better than the first film. So yeah, the acting's obviously great from all these actors. A lot of these characters get more character development, especially um, the son. I don't, I don't remember his name. I think his name was Marcus. He gets more development he, this time around. And same thing with um the dot. And same thing with the daughter as well. A lot of the characters get more development in the sequel. Killian Murphy was a great addition. Jaman Hanzu was also good. This movie was extremely suspenseful, just as suspenseful as the first, if not more so. Oh, like, it doesn't even, like, it. even the opening scene was very suspenseful. I don't want to spoil it, but it's in, but a lot of scenes from the opening scene are in the trailer, so, yeah. So, yeah. Quiet Place is such a good horror franchise. I, I'd be down for a third film. Like, I want a third movie. I heard there's a spinoff in development. And I think they're trying to make this, like, a Quiet Place universe, like a cinematic universe, I think. Hopefully we do get a third installment, though. So, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a perfect movie. It's a very perfect movie. That I really enjoyed. It's only my favorite movie this year so far. Probably not going to be my favorite by the end of the year. But but yeah. I really loved Quiet Place 2. And I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 masterpiece movie. So yeah. And then the last one is Conjuring 3. The Devil Made Me Do It. This movie is directed by Michael Chavez, who directed The Curse of La Llorona, and it stars Vera Farmiga and Patrick Wilson from the other two movies. So this was a movie that I was expecting to be good, not great, just decent. And that's basically what it was. It was just a decent horror film. Um, uh, It was kind of boring. like It kind of dragged on a little bit, in my opinion. And it also kind of, like, it was definitely the weakest of the trilogy. It, the ones directed by James Wan were definitely better. But the performances were really good. The performances were really good from all the, from everyone here. Um, some of the jump scares got me. Yeah. So, yeah. And this movie, it was, it was, um... And this movie was, was, um, and this movie was pretty, like, it was pretty scary, too, um, which is what I said, I got, because jump scares got me a few times, so, yeah, but it's only the weakest of the three, because it just doesn't have that magic that the other ones had with James Wan, like, it, those ones were definitely more scary, they were more creative, well, this one's kind of creative, too, but just not as creative as the first Wait, no. No, the first ones wouldn't... I wouldn't say they're creative. They were, like, haunted ha type... Like, haunted house type demon films. This one's, like, a... This one's, like, a courtroom drama mixed with a horror film. Like... I didn't like it as much as the haunted house stuff, but it was pretty good. Definitely not a great film. Um, but it's definitely one of the better Conjuring movies... Compared to all the other garbage ones we've been getting lately, like The Nun and The Curse of La Llorona. Uh, we needed a better one, and I'm glad that we did get a better one, so yeah. So that is my triple movie review of Cruella, Quiet Place 2, and Conjuring 3, The Devil Made Me Do It. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below, tell me what you think of these movies, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!